excited to come to you guys today with my grocery haul. I'm sorry if my house is a mess. I'm about to clean it as soon as I get finished with this video. Um, I missed you guys. I know um, last week we actually had snow in Alabama and we don't know how to act and it was like a foot of snow and it was like, oh my god, we can't do anything. We can't drive anywhere. Um, so anyways, for some reason that threw me off. And now hopefully I'm back in the swing of things and I want to show you guys my haul. Okay. So, let me turn you guys around. Okay. So, here is everything. I'm sorry. I've got a bunch of stuff on my kitchen table right now. So, you can see all my dead plants. Bless their hearts. Um, okay. So... The first thing I'm going to go over is going to be um, the Dollar Tree. I did not get a lot from the Dollar Tree this week. Um, I had to get a bunch of stuff from Walmart just because I'm doing some random stuff. Um, so it's mostly from um, Walmart and Aldi's this week. So I'm going to get started. I got some of these family style hot dog buns um, I'm actually making chili tomorrow yes and then I think on Wednesday or Tuesday I'm not sure um, we're gonna have chili dogs with the leftover chili so I got some buns and then I just got some nacho cheese um, tortilla chips these like I said they're different but they're really good um, for snacks and then um, my husband tried these about two weeks ago, and he really liked these iced oatmeal cookies. Um, I needed some more body wash, and this one smells really good. Last time I got the um, the lavender scented one, but this one's got more of like a clean scent, and I wanted to kind of switch it up. I don't really know that it's the best or the most um, moisturizing or whatever, um, but I do put a lot of lotion on and hopefully one day when we get out of debt I'll be able to buy something a little bit nicer. But anyways, this is good for now. Then this week I'm actually going to be taking um, my lunches and I'm going to take peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, which I was supposed to be doing that all along but I kind of got sidetracked and I've been going to Sonic to get cheese sticks. So... I got this for my um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, I have to get it. So, I got that, and then um, just some chips for snacks as well, and oh, two more things. I got some popcorn chicken um, for, I think, lunch maybe tomorrow, and then just got my husband one of these little Tony's combination pizzas here. And then the next set of stuff is going to be from... Sorry, you guys. Um, gonna be from Aldi's. I got a package of this white rice. It is 48 ounces, and I believe it was a dollar 49. Um, and that, of course, is for Bam's food. I actually um, changed Charlie's food because um, he's the one that really needs to be restricted, and she needs some more nutrition. So I'll talk about that in a minute, you guys. That was really expensive. Um, because we had to change her dog food. She wasn't eating the other one, and I only feed her grain-free dog food. So it can get quite expensive. But anyways, then um, I had to run back in there because I forgot the chili packet, and I saw these, um, and I needed some for snacks. So I did pick these up. I think these were $1.79 for 10 granola bars, and I ate one because I was super hungry in the store. And then there's the other the little chili packet. I think this was 59 cents um, for my chili. I used to buy the um, hot chili kit at mm -hmm. Walmart, and I think it was like $2. And this is 59 cents, and you guys, it tastes just as good, I swear. Okay, so, and then I picked up some more shredded cheese. Gonna use this for our chili dogs, our chili, um, and maybe like a salad or something like that. And then these are the cheese dogs that we're going to eat with our chili dogs. And I'm sorry, guys. This was um, $2.79. And then I got some of these um, cheese dogs. My husband really likes these. Comparable to, um, I think it's Oscar Mayer. They're like three something. And these are $1.99. So it was really good. Then I did pick Bam and Harley up some little dental sticks. They come seven in this pack. And they were only $1.49. I'll probably give them one in a minute. 
So I got that, if they're good, which normally they're not, but I love them anyways. I want you guys to see this. That's Harley, right up under my feet. That's my baby cakes. She's always following me around. She's so cute though, I had to show you guys that. But anyways, then I got some traditional pasta. This is in 24 ounces. It's just regular pasta. Um, I'm going to use this for spaghetti probably next week. And then I'm going to use it for my um, chili this week, tomorrow. Um, that was a dollar ninety. No, no, no. That was 99 cents. And then I got some light red kidney beans. These were 59 cents for the chili. And then some chili beans for the chili as well. Also 59 cents. I did pick up some of this um, Parmesan cheese. You guys, if you haven't tried this, this is really good. I really like it. And it's only 89 cents. Um, sometimes I throw meat in it and it's like a homemade hamburger helper type thing. It's really good. Um, so you guys should check that out if you haven't already. And then I picked up a package of chopped pecans. This is not something that I normally get. This is $3.29 for six ounces, which is a good deal, but, um, I am making a my mom's recipe for red velvet cake, which is fantastic. Um, and hopefully I can duplicate it. It'll be the first time I've ever made it. But I got buttermilk on the other week for my caramel cake. And I don't want it to expire. And I've been wanting to make this for a while, so I picked these up for that. I got two of these tubes of ground turkey. Um, they are one pound each. And I'm going to use these for the hamburgers, the chili. And I think we're having tacos this week as well. Um, so I'll be using that for that. And then whatever's left over, I'll use next week. I think we got like sloppy joe on the menu. Um, more hamburgers and just some random things like that. And then I picked up some sharp cheddar. We normally get pepper jack cheese, but I wanted to change it up. I'm just going to use this for burgers. And sometimes I just eat cheese and crackers. Um, and then maybe some grilled cheese. So I'll just pick that up for that. And that was everything that I got at Aldi's. Now, this last little bit is everything that I got at Walmart. Um, <clears throat> and then I had to open these for lunch today. But I got my husband some of these goldfish. He's been asking for these for a while. These are really expensive. They're $2.98. And I hope he enjoys every bit of them because they were expensive. But anyways, he likes them. And then I got a 12 pack of this um, IBC root beer. He also is obsessed with that. And I think that was, oh boy, $3 and some change. I can't remember exactly how much that was, but it was expensive. Um, then I picked up a package of this cream cheese, also from a red velvet cake icing. This was $1.98. And then I picked up some, and I'm sorry, it looks like this. You guys actually dropped it outside. So it's supposed to be roasted garlic hummus, and it was really pretty, and now it's all whatever. But it's going to be good anyways. This was $4.48. Um, I sometimes eat this for dinner, um, and yeah, it's just really good, especially I'm um, trying to get my protein from um, not eating meat. So that's a really good source there. And then I picked up this um, 20 count of these flavor mix um, chips. I'm gonna be eating these um, for lunches and of course they'll carry over um, into snacks and things like that. This was $6.48, which I think is a really good deal. And then I picked up some red food coloring also from a red velvet cake and this was $2.98. So there's quite a few things in here that I don't normally buy. They're more expensive than Really wanted to pay, but I really want to make that cake, so, um, and a treat for us anyways. So, also picked up this blue bonnet, um, four sticks of butter, and I need these for my cakes as well. And this, this week was pretty good deal. It was 86 cents for that, so it's not bad. Also picked up, um, some Bama grape jelly, um, easy squeeze. This is for my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I think this was $1.78. And then I picked up some hamburger buns. These were 99 cents, I think. Um, and these are just going to be for our hamburgers. And I was supposed to get chicken patties, but they didn't have any in the store, so I'll probably have to check back on that later. 
Um, and then I got some pretzel thins. Um, these are really good. I really like this brand. And they were $1.98. And this is going to be, um, I eat these with my hummus and I really like it. And then last but not least, I got um, two containers, containers, <laughs> two pizzas, Totino's, the big party pizzas. You guys, maybe I'm old school or cheap or what, but I really like Totino's and I think it's really good. Um, so I got two of these. They were $1.88 a piece and they'll probably be for dinner or maybe my husband's lunch. So that is what I got for this week, you guys. Um, like I said, I did get some higher price items this week. Um, so next week, hopefully I'll be back on track. I still did not overspend. I still came in. Um, I also bought some beer and water as well, um, which I didn't haul for you guys because it's already put up. But um, I stayed about, let's see, I spent 56 at Walmart. And then I spent about 25 at Aldi's. So that's about 81 And then, yeah. And then $8.72 at um Dollar Tree. So I'm about $90 in. So that's not really that bad for a week. Um, like I said, we try to stay under 100 So we still are under our limit. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I do making them for you guys. As always, thank you guys for watching. Um, if y'all have anything, I would really, if y'all have any requests, I really um, would love to do them for you. Um, give me some ideas, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.